it's just so typical and that's basically every single time that there's something concrete that we can do we fail to do it and we choose other things above that since the climate is not our priority justice is not a priority equality is not a priority paying off historical debt is not our priority because we only care about short-term egoistic um things so i, I just think that's uh, it's a quite a good summary of the current situation that we are in everybody always agrees that something must be done and for the coming uh, COP26, we expect that leaders are going to give talks, speeches, and sweet nothings. But what we really want is that if leaders are talking about halving emissions, it should not include continuous uh, destruction of the environment. Talking about net, net zero doesn't mean opening up new coal pipelines or constructing new oil pipelines like the East Africa crude oil pipeline that is going to be constructed from Uganda to Tanzania. So I'm really looking forward to the climate strike with the with fellow climate activists with the Fridays for Future movement because we are ready to approve the system. We're also seeing a lot of empty words and empty promises from governments. Um, who are not uh, living up to what they've promised six years ago in Paris. Um, so, of course, um, the strikes across the world, as well as in Germany, are also looking at that, um, demanding the, the end of empty promises and the beginning of real action, which is more needed than ever. As um, Greta pointed out, time is running, emissions are higher than ever. And we are seeing that while everyone is happy with wishy-washy promises, no one is ready um, for what is needed on the ground. And we're not looking away. And for the eighth time globally, we're saying, hello, we are there. We're demanding real climate justice and we're not going away and letting you go um, with um, all the climate destruction planned. We talk about moral obligations and that's of course at the very, very heart of this. But let's not also forget that if we are to be practical, and if even if we ignore the justice aspect, the only right thing to do, if you look at the maths also, to distribute the carbon dioxide budget equally, this is not just about, this is not just the right thing to do, it's the only thing to do if we are to move, to move forward to achieve the Paris Agreement. How can we expect other countries to start acting in line with it if, speaking from my point of view, how can countries like mine expect other countries to act, to take climate action, if we, who are very much more historically responsible uh, per capita than, than other countries, if we ignore it, how can we expect them to do it? It just doesn't make sense. Um, so if we want to, to stay in line with it, we say all the time that Sweden is such a small country, it doesn't matter what we do. But if we start to do it, it sends a signal. It's about... It's about solidarity. It's not, even if we look at the practical things, it's the only thing that will take us even the slightest bit forward.